Well, it's been a year now since the original Ninja Never Stick Cookware Premium Set review and unboxing. Today, uh, we're going to go through what happens after a year of using this cookware. Are they still worth it? Is it worth the price? Will I still keep them? Or will I toss them in the trash? You're going to have to wait and see. Watch till the end of the video. Just to be transparent about what I actually use and what I use most in, in my kitchen, uh, this is probably the most used. Uh, this is the 10 and a half inch or 10 and a quarter inch uh, fry pan. That's the most used. You can see by the discoloration there that we use that the most, uh, followed by the six and a half quart uh, pot and the two and a half quart pot. Uh, the rest we use occasionally, but those three are the main pieces that I use in my kitchen. I, I know you guys probably have certain uh, pieces that you guys use. Let's take a look at uh, any damages or uh, the usage uh, marks or anything on these pans. So uh, let's take a look. I mean, I know uh, we talked about in the last video, talked about some uh, some scuff marks on the uh, on the edges, uh, but still no peeling. Uh, you can see. I'm not sure if you can see that here. Uh, there's some little bit of scuff marks. If I can get the right light angle there, uh, but you, you've got. You know, a little bit of damage here along the edges. And obviously, you know, discoloration on the on the back side. Uh, handles holding up really well. I mean, it's been a year. I mean, it's still very sturdy. The lids, still the same issue. Uh, a little bit of a buildup uh, along the edges. Uh, you can get in there with a brush and clean that off. Uh, you, have, you have a little bit of scuff marks around the rim here if you place them inverted. Um, Six and a half quart pot. You can see the discoloration here. You can see it here, around here. Uh, not not much damage on the inside. I mean, anywhere that it was dinged up a little bit on the edges here, it was dinged up here. Uh, you know, it's not really it's not peeling. I'm not noticing any flaking or anything like that. Uh, and I've I've used uh, all all kinds of utensils in there. Obviously not, not knives or anything uh, sharp like that, but I, I have used uh, wire whisks. Uh, some of the videos I may post up here in the links. Now we're also gonna be uh, revisiting the original tests. A couple of the original tests. I've got uh, some chicken breast here. Uh, last time we used uh, the beef and we're gonna use the egg here, the egg test, to see how the non-stick or the, the never stick coating is holding up. Let's get right to it, I guess. Let's find out if these things have really uh, held up. All right, so I'm using my duct stop again, the same as the old test, the original test. We're gonna test it for heating as we did before to see how it's holding up. I got it set on five, we're at 349, 351. So it's still holding up pretty good. You got a little bit of a cool spot, but that may be some issues with the uh, the cooktop. So I want to get it 350 so we can get a good sear on it. So let's get the, uh, I'm going to use some chicken breast. This is a boneless and skinless uh, chicken breast. It's It's been cleaned and dried, no seasoning. And we're just going to put this on here to see if it sticks. Let's see what it does here. And you can hear the sizzle right off the bat. So I'm going to give it a little tap down. We're going to let it sit. And we're going to see if, if it actually uh, sticks to it as it's cooking. Now, obviously, if you have any fats in there, it's going to make it easier to not stick. So we'll give it a couple minutes here just to, uh, to be able to, uh, uh, to sear on there and see if it sticks. All right, so you can see here, it's actually browning around the edges. So you can see that up top. Okay, it's kind of browning along the edges here. So I'm gonna to try to peel it off to see if, uh, if it's sticking, what comes off here. So we're just gonna get a little piece in here and look at that, never stick. They just came right off. I used no oils, no greases, anything like that. You got a nice sear on that. So I'm just gonna put that aside here. So let's try and clean it. Now, I know it's gonna clean well. All I'm using is a wet paper towel uh, and we're just gonna clean it, try to clean it off here as best we can. So 
So, and you can see that from the top view. Okay, that's it. Comes out clean. You can see that here. Comes out clean. So now let's try the egg test. Uh, again, this is a room temperature egg. There's no seasoning in the pan. I've already cleaned it after the first test. So I'm just gonna try to get that here on the center, like that. And let that just cook up for a few minutes. And with eggs, as usual, you just don't wanna play with them too much. You wanna let them set first before you start moving them around. Uh, I know there's been some questions on that, on how to get the eggs to, to cook right. Uh, and I've got the cooktop, the Dutch top cooktop set to five, which is about medium, you know, uh, uh, medium heat. It goes to 10. I'll let it go another minute or two before, uh, before I try to move it around, because I know it's gonna break and stuff. We're gonna try to keep it intact. So it's not moving, so maybe it's stuck. Who knows? But uh, this, I'm pretty happy with the coating. The coating seems to be holding up really well. Uh, you know, I've beat on it quite a bit during cooking. I'm kind of rough on some of this stuff. Uh, and it, uh, it seems to be holding really well in cleaning. No, no argument there except for the bottom. But if you stick around to the end of the video, uh, we're going to clean the bottom. I'm going to show you how I clean it. So let's take a look at this egg now. Uh, it's just about done here. So again, I'm just going to kind of lift. So you can see that it's not, it's not really sticking here. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of uh, 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 stickiness because it's searing. So, uh, and the uh, and the coating is it's kind of rough. It's not a smooth coating. So, so you're going you're not going to get that Teflon slide, uh, but it, it does pull right off. I mean, just like that. So that that was very little effort. You know. So you can see. I'll just flip it over here. You can see nice, even cooked. You know, nice even color here, so you're not getting any hot spots. That thick bottom, and this is one of the reasons why they use the thick bottoms uh, on a lot of the uh, uh, the high end pans too, uh, is to maintain the heat. So it holds heat across the bottom evenly, uh, and you don't get uh, dark spots and light spots. It's kind of nice and even. So you can see the egg didn't stick at all. You know, uh, I'm just gonna break it in there and see if we can make a little mess. You know, but as as you know, egg has got a little bit of fat in it, so it's uh, uh it's probably not going to stick. And even if it dries, you can peel it right off. So, so we have a little bit looks like stuck egg. So we're going to let it continue to cook, and that's that's kind of the secret. You got to let it continue to cook uh, until it it, uh, it kind of sears the bottom, uh, and, and it makes a, a nice uh, a nice crust, so to speak. Uh, for the bottom. So now, see that? That just came right off. That just comes right off here. So again, test number two, the egg still holding really well. I'm really happy when I make eggs in, in these pans. Uh, it just doesn't uh, doesn't stick. A little bit of a, a play with it comes right off. You don't have to scrape it or anything. Uh, I like using these flat uh, spatula uh, type uh, utensils because you can get underneath it, like if you're cooking fish and you can grip it a little bit better than the curved ones. All right, so let's get the egg off of that. And again, I'm gonna take the damp paper towel and give it a, a clean. And everything comes off really, really quick. Still holds up as, as new. Now for the final test is that sugar test. In the last video, I used uh, a combination of stuff, uh, you, know, you know, some barbecue sauce, some ketchup. Basically, it's the sugar that will adhere when it, when it melts. It's the sugar that kind of sticks to the pans. So today, I'm going to use uh, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, which I've used on my ribs, uh, if you've seen any of my other uh, recipes. So I'm going to put some of this on it, see if I can bake it on. We can bake it on, let it cake up a little bit. And let's test the temperature again to see how hot we are. We're at about 400 degrees. So hopefully we don't smoke this out too much. 
you know, so you can see it's kind of bubbling up. It's, it's starting to caramelize and you know, uh, the sugars are starting to melt. It smells great. It smells like ribs, you know, so it's not a bad thing. So I'm going to let this keep cooking down. As you can see, it's starting to bubble it. As it dries up, it's going to tend to stick and, uh, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it uh, peels off or not at that point, how it cleans up. So I turned off the duck's top uh, induction cooktop here just to let it cool. So I want to let the, uh, the sugars cool and kind of stick here a little bit. It looks like we're just about there. And you can see, I mean, it's not running. It's not going anywhere. So let's see if it pulls off now. So you can look at that. I mean, it just, <laughs> just comes right off. It just comes right off. I mean, take the wet paper towel and just give it a clean, you know, and it comes off nice and easy. So I'm going to let this uh, pan cool. And when I bring you back, we're going to talk about how to clean the bottom. Uh, I know uh, there's been a couple of different uh, uh, suggestions, but I'll show you the one I use and the one I like. All right, so now for the cleaning of the, of the base of these, uh, these Ninja Never Stick pans. Uh, I've read online a couple of different ways. Uh, you can use uh, distilled vinegar and a sponge. I've also seen uh, some lemon with uh, some dish soap and uh, baking soda. And I like to use the uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. It just works well on everything. Uh, so let's, uh, let's give this a try here. So all I have here is... Uh, I've got a lemon. I just squeeze that into the container, about a teaspoon of baking soda, and a little bit of uh, dishwashing liquid. So, and I, this is just wet with water. So I'm just going to dab that in here. And let's just get some on it first so it can start working its magic. Okay. And you're going to need a little bit of elbow grease. It's not, uh, it's not automatic, but uh, it does, does do a good job. So, and if you have to let it sit for a while because it's really baked on, you know, let it sit for a couple minutes. Uh, and uh, it'll, it'll make things a little easier. It'll tend to eat up uh, some of the grime and, uh, and the buildup that's on it. So I've taken a before picture. And I'll put that up on the screen and I'll show you the after picture of of what this looks like when I'm when I'm done with it. Okay. So now I kind of worked it in. I'm gonna let this sit for a couple minutes and then I'll show you the after picture of what it looks like. All right, so the cleaning, as you can see, did a really good job. You know, you can see nice close up here. I mean there's some build up here, but I suppose if you keep, uh, if you keep scrubbing, you, you let it sit a little while longer, it'd probably do a better, much better job. But you know, in a couple of minutes, it's not bad at all. In conclusion, you know, do I still like the Ninja Never Stick premium set? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I don't think I would trade it uh, for any of the other uh, coated pans uh, or cookware. Uh, these, uh, this cookware has really uh, held up to its promises so far. Uh, I've put it through a lot of tests. And again, this is the last test I'll be making with this. I, after a year, I think, uh, uh, I think they deserve it. So I highly recommend this set. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in getting a set, I'll leave some links down in the uh, description below. So if you enjoyed this third review, this updated one-year review of the uh, Ninja Never Stick uh, premium cookware, if you enjoyed it, uh, give me some likes some shares, some comments down below if you have anything to add uh, to the set or to, uh, to the cleaning process here. Let me know down in the comments again. Uh, appreciate your, your time and watching the video and supporting this channel. I'll see you in the next video.